Hello everybody. I thought it was about time that I did another book review. So I only did uh, a few until now and I really want to do more. And the, the whole idea is that um, I would especially try to draw attention uh, for interesting books that go a bit beyond the mainstream, that are a bit different. And <coughs> that's why today what I'm looking at briefly is an enormous comic book. Look at this. This is one story of more than 800 pages from Yoshihiro Tatsumi. It's called A Drifting Life. It's published by Drawn and Quarterly, who um, is actually um, a publisher of very interesting, high quality independent comic books, you could say. Um, comics that are really made, let's say, from an artistic viewpoint rather than a purely commercial viewpoint. Um, a Drifting Life me refers here actually to the, the artist's Tatsumi autobiography because this is really a, a loving uh, reminder of his, uh, his early years as a comic book artist, how he really started after the war and um, and uh, it, indeed there are a lot of smaller details uh, that uh, refer to the history. So, eight, more than 800 pages, so you will be busy with it for quite a while. And notice here already, um, there, is some, oh, there is some history uh, that is um, referred to, like here... Uh, a war crimes tribunal, but then the story begins actually where he really begins uh, in his young, in his, uh, in his uh, teenage years already to draw comic books, as you can see here, uh, really early sketches that he is making. And um, it seemed that back then in Japan actually there were no typical comic book magazines just after the war because everything was still starting up, but they were rather rented out like a like, like in a kind of a library. And anyway, you see him continuing to, uh, to, to try to sketch comics. And uh, send, he sends in his, uh, his drawings to magazines for publication. And eventually he begins to get a bit of success. Um, notice, I, I think in general, the, 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 the drawings are very clean. Actually, it's a bit like um, over here in, in Europe, in Belgium, uh, how Hergé, the, the artist of Tintin, actually also made very simple but clear drawings. And I think uh, Tatsumi has this as well. Um, so it's purely slice of life actually if you think about it it's about trying to break through uh, the history especially if you like comic books it is really a lot of fun to uh, uh, to see about how a, a, a young person tries to live for his passion and especially interesting here that's why I put a, a bit of paper there is uh, he meets with um, uh, with Osama, uh, Osamu Tezuka you see here the, the line Osamu Tezuka was, is actually what is uh, for Japan is what is you could say the, the inventor of Batman in America or Stan Lee you could say for Spider-Man or Hergé for Tintin in Europe he is one of the really the, the, the founders of, a, of the modern comic book but in this case of the Japanese comic book and uh, he, he has one of many Tezuka books because he made such a lot uh, and a lot of them is actually more adult in style and always typical with Tezuka is a, a, a quite filmic uh, um, build up of the page so the way how the how the, the the cases run, even if the drawings are pretty simple, you can see it, it, it is, Etezuka was uh, a cinema lover, and you can see that really in the way he built his, uh, his panels, already from the 1950s. And so Tezuka, obviously, by then, it, he was an enormous influence for the young artists, uh, because what he did was so much more dynamic. And so you can see here the, um, you can see here how uh, how the, the young artist Tatsumi but he, he's, he's called differently in the book he doesn't call himself with his own name he calls himself Zirushi he's always amazed whenever he sees something of Tezuka and then he visits actually the young Tezuka uh, who will show him how to draw actually uh, how, how Tezuka draws his own characters and what is so amazing for young Hiroshi is that Tezuka first draws the hands and the feet and then the faces 
and only then the, com uh, the complete pictures. This is also by the way the typical charming amusing and old fashioned Tezuka uh, style of his early comic books. Even if sometimes the stories are very multi layered and surprisingly complex typically older Tezuka uh, stories are this kind of charming look and feel. So anyway uh, it, so it is like this 80 pages, uh, 800 pages uh, you could say that are linked to around 10 years uh, of real life history about really uh, uh, trying to grow in going into a studio with other young artists who are here not named with their real names but um, people who know a bit about the Japanese comic book history will probably know who is meant actually uh, from those other young artists with who he had to work together and I, I think really this is um, this is really something if you are into books uh, it's, it's quite uh, a surprise to have a, a book of this richness 800 pages and in very nice drawings uh, he, he, the artist actually spent really uh, years on making this here you see also how they studied comic books and how they evolved for example to use uh, cinematic techniques in them and uh, <coughs> it actually so it's when it stops um, still in the beginning actually of the Japanese comic book industry what is interesting that this artist uh, was actually uh, one of the uh, beginners of a special kind of Japanese uh, manga called Gekiga which is more the independent kind of uh, comic that is not really meant aimed at children but more at adults uh, full of real life raw situations and that's what he actually made a specialization uh, about more arty kind of uh, of a manga that's why they, they age so well his stories so here it begins uh, here the story ends still with uh, the young artist still in, in full development and then there is an epilogue which is actually at the funeral of that uh, uh, founding father you could say Tezuka where he actually um, he visits the he visits the funeral and um, he, he thinks about his life and so on it's really really remarkable this book with indeed at the end you can see uh, some some notes uh, which help uh, because indeed they what they did actually um, was wherever there is Japanese in the drawing they kept it they didn't try to edit it so that there are um, actually the translations are at the end which is I think good <coughs> I will show also briefly there are from Drowning Quarter early, a few other books by this artist uh, Tsatsumi Yoshihiro um, and these are all short stories actually um, the kind of raw kind of uh, story that he is so famous about about typically very lonely people that uh, well that do not have really <laughs> uh, lives to be jealous about but they make for really good stories it's quite quite hard edge I must say uh, not really for children even if the, the drawings seem quite simple it's what the things that happens is it's not for young children that you have to be wanted it's really more for adults uh, the kind of story um, I like them a lot it, the best comparison I have with these short stories is actually the stories of uh, Charles Bukowski um, so then you have an idea what what you can expect and so um, they are actually very nicely made as you can see these short story collections oh, again drawn in quarterly but a nice cloth uh, binding and a hardcover so they are uh, really good so but coming back to here the one that I would start with if you are interested is indeed A Drifting Life a mammoth of a comic book um, 800 pages of joy especially if you like uh, if you like comic books this is really a must notice here by the way quite amusing some of his old sketches of a, of a kind of a monster uh, kind of a Japanese comic he made with big uh, big snakes attacking a city but of course this is then in the realm with his real life and, P and his brother for example who doesn't like it at all and, and things like that it's really 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 uh, really good and, and it shows really the development of a passionate young guy so I hope you found this uh, perhaps a discovery um, so feel free to leave feedback goodbye